KFNN. Headline news update. Welcome, folks. We had the Dow Industrials finish up 332, NASDAQ up 119, S&P's up 27. They ran this market right into the close, up into the close, over the close. You get volume behind the move. You get holiday trading happening. We get the beginning of the year. We get window dressing. Bottom line, I expect you're going to see this run continue into tomorrow, and then we'll see where this shakes out. But bottom line is that you did have the Dow Industrials as well as the NASDAQ and the S&P. Well, let's see the S&P if we hit another all-time high. It's going to be really close. I believe that we did, though. The NASDAQ is the strength. Yeah, the S&P is also closed at an all-time high, closed right at its high. Uh, 3259, we hit. 3254 was the number. Inside the NASDAQ, that was the strength out here. That baby uh, just slammed into a higher price uh, in a huge way. You, and monster uh, price spread out here. The, the last high that was generated out here, folks, was on the 30th of December. That high was 88.09. Well, you're at 88.88. How's that? Up 136. Monster number. Gold. Gold contract as well as silver also caught a bid with volume. Gold up 770, trading 1530, 256,000 contracts. Great contract volume, no doubt. The divergence, once again, is the note and bond market. Note and bond market, uh, bottom line, still want higher price, lower yield. Pretty amazing that you're at all-time highs. The 10 years at 128.21. You did 1.1 million contracts. Bottom line, took out the little consolidation that we've been in here for about two and a half weeks. Uh, with the note as well as the bond market had done last week, it came down. It tested its lows, rejected its lows four separate times, did it again this morning. It continues to want higher price, lower yield. 2020, folks, is the year of the census. And if we want to check out this one stat, this is pretty incre uh, incredible. I mean, I knew it was happening because we have been in Florida now 22 years, and uh, it's a state that, uh, bottom line, a lot of people are moving to. Uh, Florida is actually going to gain three um, House of Representatives, uh, two House of Representatives seats as New York is leaving, is losing one. And in this particular case, the state of Florida will have more seats than New York. But listen to this number. In the 2010 census, okay, uh, the Empire State had 577,000 more people than Florida. In this census here, Florida is going to have 2 million more people than New York. Pretty amazing. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and join us right here. Larry Pesavento kicks us off 9 o'clock in the morning every trading day. TFNN.com. Tell your friends. Have a great one, folks. Have a safe one.